Okay, guys. Today is International Day. I just did uh, some K-pop. I just did um, a Spanish rapper, Residente. And now we've got Azariah, Queen Omega, Four Moods 2. So this is the follow-up to Four Moods. Interesting. Let's get into it. Az eldönti, hogy kiuralja az adott ország gondolkodását, és ezen keresztül, hogy kiuralja az adott ország. Interesting. For those of you who don't know, that's Charlie Chaplin uh, being, you know, Hitler. First degree murder over $200. The money makes you filthy, but the money gives you power. Learn how to see over this iron curtain. For Babylon, you will conquer every room of your mind. Interesting. So this, it seems like this is kind of a critique of the United States, and he, ta I mean, he talked about money essentially kind of ruling it. Um, I, I want to see where he goes from here. Um, this is interesting, but um. Yeah, certainly it's, it seems like it might be a little bit of a critique of uh, the capitalistic system in America or just the hypocrisy within it. I mean, it's showing our, our um, just the diversity in our culture. Um, you know, we have people from all over the world that come here, um, large populations, too. It's not just like a few people from each group. There's a, a large amount that, that come to the U.S., so it's interesting. Let's keep going. <laughs> So the, the Hungarian is not translating, so I'm not sure what he's saying in Hungarian. Um, but it's interesting because this, this video shows quite a bit of um, American industrialism, and it shows a few other things that I'm not entirely sure if it's the U.S. or if it, if it was um, videos of um, places in Europe or British Parliament. I'm not entirely sure, but let's keep going. <laughs> So he's doing flames on the eyes that kind of go to devil horns and then fl uh, you know flames that go up and then a target on the head. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to make of this. I, I don't know. I don't know what the message is. I don't know what he's saying in Hungarian. I can only uh, respond to really the English stuff. Um, so so let's keep going. See where he goes. I see. Yeah, guys. Um, America is not known for having people that like politicians. So I don't know what you guys see on the news. I don't know, like, I don't know what your news tells you about Americans, but Americans in general do not like our politicians. Um, our politicians are put in place essentially by big money, corporations. They form these things called super PACs. Super PACs are allowed to donate to campaigns, um, and to parties. Um, and so essentially the people, I mean, an interesting thing is, um, Tulsi Gabbard in the, uh, I want to say it was the 20, 2019, uh, races, Tulsi Gabbard went after Kamala Harris. The next day, the next day, Tulsi Gabbard got destroyed 
in the news. It was overnight because I was watching the news very consistently. Overnight after that debate, when when Tulsi Gabbard challenged Kamala Harris in the in the debate, the next day she got drugged through the mud. Uh, the news was saying all these terrible things about her, which is insane because she's uh, the Democratic Party is about diversity and power in diversity. And that's great. But but the Democratic Party decided to run bad news about a minority woman veteran she she cut her blood is native to hawaii it, it's insane i mean um money definitely makes makes this country work and don't get it wrong americans do not like our politicians the only reason people voted for joe biden was because it was a vote against donald trump the only the main reason people voted for donald trump was because it was against politicians so it's it's weird. I'm not I'm not I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. So don't don't get it don't get it crazy here people. Okay? I'm not a fan. All right? But I am saying that that's how people felt. And yeah, money, I mean, it's it's um they they pull I mean, they pull on the strings of people because people like me, the working class, we're, I'm I'm picking up hammers. I'm picking up rocks and moving them around. I'm doing hard labor. These politicians do not understand what that is like. They have never done hard work in their life. So let's let's keep going here and see what happens. The words of broken promises only shows your deceit. Watch them beat it. The water that can come them. Cause them are suffering the children. We see the leaders have no love. No love on the system. Too long we have been victims. Religion to racism. Locked in a mental prison. Singing the songs of freedom. But still there is no freedom. Until we build your kingdom. And the freedom will be long. The be the eagle and the dragon. Interesting. There is no uh, no freedom until... Um, let me go back, guys. I want to understand what he's saying. Until Wow. Until we build your kingdom. I see. Yeah, guys, what's what started to happen in the U.S. is a lot of people have realized how corrupt and how bad our politicians are. But the problem is, it's like the average people... I mean, we're, you have to work very hard to make it in America because things are expensive and you have to work 40 to 60 hours a week. Um, and when you're not doing that, you're with family. When you're not doing that, you know, you're, you're work, you know, doing hobbies and other things. Um, it, it's very, I'm not saying that we can't band together, but it's very hard to change a political system in any country, especially a country as large and as powerful as the United States. Because it's not just the money within the United States. The politicians also make money from other countries by cutting deals. You know, the, the politicians will say, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll buy your oil and, you know, send a little bit to a few different companies that may be related to me and then I'm richer. Um, it's incredibly difficult to change the system. It's not impossible, but it, it is very difficult to do from a practical standpoint. Um, let's keep going, guys. Protect your soul, man. Guys, I have to keep pausing it. I'm sorry, but my, my opinion on politicians is a lot of them are soulless. They don't, like, some of these people, they're, they're like, genuinely evil politicians. I, I don't respect them. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but these so a lot of these people are evil, lying manipulators. They're snakes. Um, and, and they don't even have a soul to protect because they want power and money. The only reason people get involved in politics, you might say, oh, they care about... In America, if you get to state legislature, if you get to the presidential candidacy, chances are you probably have sold your soul in some way or another. <laughs> What about the poor and needy? Them and greedy. What about the poor and needy? 
Interesting. Very interesting, guys. Um, yeah, Azariah. So this is my second reaction to an Azariah song. Um, I don't know where Queen Omega was in this. Um, but very interesting. Definitely gives you things to think about because there is a lot of people um, who still believe just lies that the American government has told us. There are still a lot of people who don't don't really want to think that our government does not have our best interest in mind. You know, there's some people who are very trusting of government, and I'm not one of them. Um, but fortunately, I'm in a country where I can say that, and I don't have the Gestapo, I don't have the police coming to my door saying, hey, you need to stop saying that on YouTube. Hell no, I don't have that. Because that's illegal here. And we also do have firearms, too. So when a police officer comes to the door... They are in fear because they don't know who has a gun. If They have to identify, knock, 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 it's the police department. They have to identify because it's a scary situation to walk up to a house and not know if that person has a rifle or a gun or, or you know, you don't know if that person is sober. You don't know if that person is drunk. You don't know if that person just got in a fight with their partner. You don't know anything. Um, and so it's, it's a very, um, you know, the, my ability to critique my own government is one of the most beautiful things in my opinion. I can say whatever I want about the government pretty much. And ultimately, I mean, I, you can't, you cannot, uh, promote violence. I do not promote violence ever at all. Um, you can't promote violence because then it's, it's considered, um, you know, not freedom of speech. It's like, I can say, I don't like the government. I think they're evil and I'm not going to get killed. I won't be thrown in prison. That's one of the beautiful things I love about this country is that there are enough rights set up where we, we can kind of say whatever and we don't have to worry that much. I mean, people might get upset, you know, other Americans might get upset, but that's the point of America to speak your mind um, and to think. And then when you say something, Someone else responds and says, well, what do you mean by that? I mean, that's the beautiful thing about this place. And I think more and more um, with social media, a lot of Americans get on, get in these what we call echo chambers where you just hear the same things over and over. And you the only things you see are the things you agree with. And when something pops up that you don't like, you say, oh, I don't want to see any more of it. I don't think that's good. I think it's good to have a challenge, good to have an argument. It's good to have conversation and discussion because um, that's how you're, that's how ideas get challenged. And so when we stop doing that, we have a problem where um, pe people are, are afraid to talk to each other. Um, there's a lot of things to get into here. I won't go too long with it, but very interesting. Azariah, I'll be doing some more Azariah reactions. Um, by the way, th this one is for um, Hannah from sweden she asked me to do this reaction so you guys take care if you like the video like subscribe comment and please recommend and you guys take care wherever you are